Welcome to Echo Chamber Insight. I'm Chamber Insight, your anchor for today's top stories. Hit subscribe for more updates. Our headlines, global tensions escalate as leaders meet for urgent talks, while a new scientific breakthrough promises hope in the fight against disease. Stay with us for the latest updates and expert analysis. News number one The mandate to obtain a license and conduct background checks for the sale of firearms, regardless of the selling location, marks a pivotal shift in gun regulation aimed at curbing illicit gun trafficking and preventing violent crimes. This stringent regulation underscores a collective acknowledgement of the pressing need to address the proliferation of firearms and its grim consequences. By imposing these measures, authorities are striving to close the legal loopholes that have long enabled the unchecked flow of guns into the hands of individuals with nefarious intentions. The delineation of what constitutes a personal firearms collection serves as a crucial clarification, delineating between casual collectors and those engaging in gun sales for profit. This distinction is essential in fostering accountability and ensuring that individuals engaging in firearm transactions are subject to appropriate scrutiny. The intent behind this regulation is not to impede lawful gun ownership but rather to fortify safeguards against the unlawful acquisition and misuse of firearms, thereby enhancing public safety and security. The staggering statistics regarding illegally trafficked firearms and their correlation with violent incidents underscore the urgency of implementing such measures. The sheer volume of firearms entering circulation through unlicensed dealers highlights the inadequacy of existing regulations in stemming the tide of illicit arms trade. The toll of nearly 370 shootings directly linked to these illegally trafficked firearms between 2017 and 2021 serves as a stark reminder of the human cost of lax gun control measures. In essence, the mandate for licenses and background checks represents a proactive approach toward mitigating the risks posed by unregulated firearm sales. By imposing stricter regulations, policymakers are striving to dismantle the infrastructure that facilitates the illicit movement of firearms and mitigate the associated societal harms. While such measures may encounter resistance from certain quarters, they signal a concerted effort to prioritize public safety and uphold the collective responsibility to prevent gun violence. News number two The supreme leader of Iran's ominous warning directed at Israel, declaring that they must be punished and will be punished, adds a layer of tension to an already volatile region. Such rhetoric from a key figure in Iran's leadership intensifies concerns about the potential for escalation in the long-standing animosity between Iran and Israel. The stern warning serves as a reminder of the deep-seated enmity between the two nations and the potential for conflict to erupt at any moment. The United States' expression of concern regarding a potential Iranian attack on Israeli interests underscores the gravity of the situation and the ripple effects it could have on regional stability. Given the intricate web of alliances and geopolitical dynamics in the Middle East, any escalation between Iran and Israel has the potential to reverberate across the entire region, exacerbating existing tensions and triggering broader geopolitical repercussions. The backdrop of recent events, coupled with the Supreme Leader's warning, heightens anxieties about the possibility of a military confrontation. The delicate balance of power in the region is under strain, with each development carrying the risk of sparking a chain reaction of hostilities. The spectre of conflict looms large, casting a shadow over diplomatic efforts to defuse tensions and find peaceful resolutions to long-standing disputes. In this charged atmosphere, diplomatic channels and multilateral dialogue become imperative in averting a full-blown crisis. The need for de-escalation measures and confidence-building measures cannot be overstated, as the stakes are high for all parties involved. The international community must remain vigilant and proactive in its efforts to prevent the situation from spiraling out of control, recognizing that the consequences of inaction could be dire and far-reaching. News number three The inquiry from the U.S. House of Representatives directed at X regarding its actions taken in Brazil has ignited a contentious conflict with Brazilian authorities, amplifying tensions between the two nations. This clash underscores the complexities and implications of operating multinational corporations in an increasingly interconnected world, where actions taken in one jurisdiction can have far-reaching repercussions across borders. The scrutiny from U.S. lawmakers adds an additional layer of pressure on X, exacerbating its predicament and complicating its response to the situation unfolding in Brazil. The daily fine of $19,736.32 imposed on X by Brazilian authorities for failing to comply with a court order to block certain accounts represents a significant financial burden and underscores the seriousness of the legal dispute. The escalating penalties underscore the Brazilian court's determination to enforce its rulings and hold X accountable for its actions. The standoff between X and Brazilian authorities highlights the challenges of navigating regulatory frameworks and legal systems in foreign jurisdictions, particularly in cases where multinational corporations clash with local laws and regulations. 
Elon Musk's intervention in the dispute, calling for a Brazil Supreme Court judge to resign and accusing the court of abuse of power, adds a volatile element to an already contentious situation. Musk's outspoken criticism and unilateral actions to restore banned accounts on X further complicate efforts to resolve the conflict diplomatically and exacerbate tensions between X and Brazilian authorities. Musk's involvement underscores the influence and power wielded by tech moguls in shaping global discourse and navigating complex legal and political landscapes. The imbroglio between X and Brazilian authorities underscores broader issues related to freedom of speech, corporate responsibility, and the role of technology platforms in shaping public discourse. The clash highlights the challenges of balancing competing interests and values in an increasingly interconnected and digitized world, where technology companies wield significant influence over public discourse and political dynamics. Resolving the conflict will require careful diplomacy, respect for the rule of law, and a willingness to engage in constructive dialogue to find mutually acceptable solutions that uphold both legal obligations and fundamental rights. News number 4 The U.S. Senate's passage of a resolution to overturn the regulation mandating states to curtail carbon emissions from vehicles on highways signifies a significant shift in environmental policy. This move reflects a broader debate surrounding the balance between environmental protection and economic development. Critics of the greenhouse gas emissions rule, including multiple states, have argued that it poses a threat to economic growth and represents executive overreach. Their opposition underscores the complexities of environmental regulations and the diverse interests at stake, from environmental conservation to economic prosperity. The decision to overturn the regulation has sparked legal challenges, with several states filing lawsuits against it. These legal battles highlight the contentious nature of environmental policyholders and the divergent priorities among states regarding climate change mitigation efforts. The outcome of these lawsuits will have far-reaching implications for environmental regulation and federal-state relations, shaping the trajectory of environmental policy in the United States for years to come. With the bill now awaiting a vote in the House of Representatives after its passage in the Senate by a narrow margin of 53-47, the stage is set for further political wrangling over environmental policy. The outcome of the House vote remains uncertain, as lawmakers grapple with competing interests and pressures from constituents, advocacy groups, and industry stakeholders. The legislative process underscores the complexities of policyholders in a deeply divided political landscape, where finding consensus on contentious issues such as climate change can be elusive. The debate surrounding the greenhouse gas emissions rule and its subsequent repeal underscores the need for a balanced approach to environmental policyholders that considers both environmental concerns and economic realities. Achieving meaningful progress on climate change will require collaborative efforts between government, industry, and civil society, as well as a willingness to engage in constructive dialogue and compromise. As the bill moves through the legislative process, it is crucial for lawmakers to carefully weigh the environmental, economic, and social implications of their decisions, ensuring that policies enacted serve the best interests of both present and future generations. News number 5 Navalny's forthcoming book, Patriot Offers, a poignant testament to his unwavering commitment to challenging authoritarianism even in the face of grave personal risks as emphasized by his wife Yulia Navalnaya. The memoir promises to provide a candid account of Navalny's political journey, documenting his resilience in the face of assassination attempts and his relentless pursuit of justice against oppressive regimes. Knopf's announcement of the book's contents suggests a gripping narrative that sheds light on Navalny's struggles and triumphs in his quest for democracy and human rights in Russia. The publication of Patriot comes at a critical juncture, as Navalny continues to be a prominent figure in Russia's opposition movement, despite facing imprisonment and repeated attempts on his life. His willingness to defy authoritarian forces and speak truth to power epitomizes his courage and determination to effect meaningful change in his country. The memoir serves as both a testament to Navalny's resilience and a rallying cry for those who share his vision of a free and democratic Russia. The decision to publish Navalny's final letter to the world, translated into 11 languages, underscores the global significance of his struggle and the widespread support he has garnered. Navalny's confirmation of this publication reaffirms the importance of amplifying Navalny's message beyond Russia's borders, ensuring that his voice resonates with audiences worldwide. By sharing his story with a diverse international audience, Navalny aims to inspire solidarity and galvanize support for the cause of democracy and human rights in Russia and beyond. Navalny's memoir, Patriot, is poised to serve as a powerful testament to the enduring legacy of his activism and the ongoing struggle for freedom and justice in Russia. Despite the personal risks and hardships he has endured, Navalny's unwavering dedication to his principles has made him a symbol of hope and resilience for countless individuals fighting against oppression.
Through his words and actions, Navalny continues to challenge the status quo and inspire others to join him in the pursuit of a more just and equitable society. And that concludes our exploration today on Echo Chamber Report. If you found these insights valuable and want more Chamber Insight, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to stay updated on all our future discussions. We value your perspectives, so feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. The conversation doesn't end here, let's keep breaking down barriers and fostering open dialogue together on Chamber Insight. Thanks for joining us on Echo Chamber Report, and until next time, stay curious.